Okay, I'm going to give a tour of the Altitude app, which is on my iPad. This only works for the UDID specific to my iPad. So this is exactly how the app works. You click on the main icon, it takes us to a main login screen. Now you can actually click the skip button in the upper right hand corner and view the app having not been logged in. I'm going to do that now. So I click skip and then the app loads. And as you can see, uh, the magazine, there's the first default screen to load is called All Magazine, and that sorts the magazines by an alphabetical order by the name of the magazine. If I go to the next tab, which is called Airline Na Name, it sorts all of the magazines by the airline name in alphabetical order. And then moving across the top, uh, Africa tab has the airline title uh, that's in the Africa category, which is Flamingo. In Asia, we have this magazine. In Eurasia, we have Azerbaijan Airlines. Europe, we have two airlines, On Air and Panorama. North America has WestJet. And lastly, Pacific has Island Spirit. So if we go back to um, the main all magazine Category. I'll just show you that if you the way the app works is if you click on any of the um, airline names or magazine names, it will show you, for example, all the titles within that issue. For example, on air, we have every issue from September, uh, November 2017, all the way up to September, November 2018. Uh, we can click on um, here and we can view, let's go to Flamingo. Uh, this must be a caching issue. The, that image is not showing up there. But we have th this is all the issues we have for that particular magazine. Now, because I'm not logged in, if I click on a magazine cover, it'll prompt me with this message before opening the magazine user must be logged in. So um, that's giving the ability for people that haven't yet downloaded the app to actually view it without... Um, joining. So now what I'm going to do, if I again click on this, it prompts me to be logged in. So I'll click the continue button and I'll now log in by entering my email address. and I will log in. So now that I'm actually logged in, um, if I want to download a magazine, I can actually click on the cover or click on the little blue box. So I, uh, for, for the January 2019 issue, I'm just going to click on the cover. And as you can see, we've got a progress bar, a blue progress bar um, that indicates that the issue is being downloaded uh, to the app. You just have to be patient while it downloads. And there we go. There, This is the magazine. And I can, if I just touch the cover, I've got the full resolution of it. I can scroll uh, from left to right uh, to, to, re to read the magazine. Now I just touch the screen, and it brings up my navigation at the top and bottom. I can go back. To the to to the uh, the all titles page, and I can click the little blue box, the little blue circle here, and I can hit delete, and that deletes the issue. So, also, um, let's have a look at the October 2018 issue. If I click the little blue box, I can download the issue from here, uh, and I can also select to auto download this issue. So let me, I'll download this issue now. There's our blue progress bar so here is the October 2018 issue of the magazine which the user can read this is encrypted it can only be read within uh, the application go back and now uh, I've downloaded this copy if I click on the bottom center uh, my magazines 
it takes me to uh, where I've indicated my favorites and my downloaded issues. So if I go to my downloaded issues, uh, where is that? Uh, I think it's this one here, July 2018, that I downloaded. So um, these, as you can see, there's blue bars underneath all of these on this page because these are all the issues that I've downloaded. But there's some kind of bug and um, these on-air magazines at the top, they're different actual issues, but it's assigning the same image to all issues, and that's the same for Flamingo here. Um, January, February, March, it's, it's assigned the exact same cover. So this was a bug that the developer was in the process of fixing. Why it doesn't work, um, I don't know. So favorite magazines, these are all my favorites, which is indicated with a little, the star, and if I click on the star, it says, do you want to remove from favorites? Are you sure you want to remove this magazine from your favorites? If I click remove, uh, it says, there you go, I've removed. And that particular issue is no longer in my favorites. If I go back to the main categories page, and I can see, yes, Panorama Magazine, as you can see, the little star now doesn't have uh, a boost. It's got turned to white, so it's not a favorite. So even anywhere, actually, I, I, I've got this round circle. I can remove a magazine uh, from my magazines, which it makes it, if it says remove from my magazines, it's no longer a favorite. What that means is that magazines that are my favorites, I will receive an instant notification on my iPad when a new issue of that particular title is added um, onto the system. I can also select auto download as well, as you can see from, from that button. So uh, what else can we show you here? Uh, let's have a look at the settings page. Uh, the settings page has at the top, uh, use cellular data, yes or no. Uh, you can turn on the notifications for email or for instant notifications when a new issue is added uh, to the, the to the platform. Storage settings, I can actually, if I click on that blue link, it, it shows, uh, I can allocate how much I want to occupy on the hard drive of my device, every 10%, 25%, 50, 75, and no maximum. So the app reads the size of the actual hard drive and then comes up with this, these numbers specific to my device. So um, it's currently set to 100%, which is no maximum. Terms of use, I click on that link, and they don't have that hooked up, but that should link, that's supposed to link to our uh, page on our website where we specify the terms of use so that people can view that. But again, I'm clicking on it and nothing is happening. Um, I click on, oh, actually, I guess we've got a page crash here because I'm now, even even I'm clicking on subscription plan, I guess maybe I can't click on it because I've already paid for a $3.99 uh, per month subscription plan, which is a month to month plan. Contact us, that's also not working in this um, version. That's, and there's a sign out button at the end. So um, that gives a general view of how the app works. Um, again, I don't know why we've got an empty space there for Flamingo, um, February issue. So there's a problem with that issue, I guess. I'll have to check that out. Uh, maybe, the maybe the image file was corrupted when it was uploaded, hard to say. Uh, but that is a very good tour. I'm now going to click the sign out button. And are you sure you want to log out? Yes, continue. And I'm now logged out. So if somebody wants to register and they haven't actually registered with Altitude app, they would click on the register with Altitude, which is on the login page right there. And the user is prompted for their name, email address, mobile phone number, and a password. Uh, and a password confirmation, and there's a checkbox to accept the terms of use. Again, the terms and the terms and conditions of use is a link, which is supposed to open up to a web page that is on our website. I'm going to try clicking it. There we go. Um, so this is this is the text. Uh, I guess they're actually maybe it's cut, cut and paste into the app. So I guess that's how they've actually done that there. So. If I hit the back button, again, the skip appears in the upper right-hand corner. I can skip logging in, and I can peruse the app 
at my leisure. So that gives a very good uh, tour of the app. And if you have any questions, of course, please don't hesitate to contact me.